And that those clicks and you know the kind of click through rate and sort of the the behavioral signals, those can help your rankings over the long haul. So you know however well or however poorly you rank, if you have reviews, at least the chances are good that over time your rankings are going to float up a little bit at least. Um, I'd say the third reason is it helps your uh, having a reviews on a diversity of sites helps your rankings within those sites. Like a lot of times you'll find that, you know, basically there are search results within search results. And you will type in a, a broad search term like auto repair, for instance, and you'll see a bunch of Yelp, you'll see Yelp all over page one. And you click on that, you click on the Yelp result, and it's a category page within Yelp. And the, the businesses that rank well within Yelp tend to have a lot of reviews. So I don't know if you, you, everyone here is familiar with um, sort of the tactic of barnacle SEO. Uh, he used the, the term that Will Scott uh, from Search Influence coined. But reviews are a great kind of barnacle SEO tactic, sort of latch on these, um, these sites that are very prominent within Google. Also, I, I would say the, probably the fourth and probably biggest reason um, to, to care about your online reputation is it helps whatever word of mouth kind of referral power you have. I mean, if people hear about you, hear about your company offline, sooner or later they are going to look you up. And when they do, you, you want to sort of wow them with all the reviews you've got. So it's really a con it can serve as a confirmation of the good things people hear about you online and offline. Okay, thanks, Phil. Um, Ari, kind of follow up from Phil said at the first point about you know you know Google can't take away your reputation. Do you think that's true? Or do you think Google can take away your reputation? Um, yeah, definitely to a certain extent. Uh, it always amazes me the variety of way that uh, I guess consumers or general users look at even how rankings work, right? Uh, you hear people all the time that whatever the top ranking is is something that Google's already determined to be the best business or you know the, the, the right one for you. It's not based on some of the algorithmic things that, that we understand and behaviors and things like that. So I definitely think it, it, it can hurt to a, a certain standpoint. Um, where, where Phil's exactly correct though is like one by paying attention to what your reputation is I mean that that's really the big fundamental piece right whether it ends up something that that business or business owner has knowledge on or you're able to get it elevated to a public review um, where it's a you know one person sharing for dozens hundreds or thousands to come across that review and 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 uh, consume it and then form an opinion. To me, that's really the big idea behind it. Is like you know, don't ignore how your customers' single 